I received this item free of charge in return for a fair review. This is a Sawauki K10 jump starter and portable charger. It's got a capacity of 12,000 milliamp hours. The specifications say it's designed for engines up to 5 litre petrol and 3.5 litre diesels. So that's very versatile because it'll cover most people's vehicles. The jump starter comes packaged in a nice little carrying case. And inside we've got the crocodile clips with a connector for jump starting, a USB to micro USB cable, set of instructions, a 12 volt charging lead that's designed to plug into a cigarette lighter socket, a charger so that you can charge up the jump starter, and last but not least, the jump starter. And that is extremely small and portable. Some of the specifications on the back of the unit. So at the business end of the unit we've got the engine charging port, that's where the leads plug into. Two 5 volt 2.1 amp USB outputs, 15 volt 1 amp input which is for actually charging the unit and then we've got the LED torch. On the top of the unit we've got the LED charge indicator, an on off button, it's three quarters charged already. If you keep your finger on the on off button it brings on the LED which is the torch is very bright and would be very useful in the dark when you're trying to connect this thing up or for camping and that type of thing. It's also got an SOS feature on the light which is very handy if you're out and about in the middle of nowhere and you get into trouble. I reckon the majority of people would understand an SOS signal. And then the strobe and it's just a quick press of the power button to change the torch modes. So keep the button pressed for on, quick press SOS and a quick press and it's a strobe. Strobe's good for if you break down to catch people's attention. So, yeah, pretty impressed with that. The instructions say to charge the unit for three hours or more before using it for the first time. So, I'll just leave that on for three or four hours and then come back to it. So, it's my intention to try and flatten the battery of this car to give the jump start a proper test. Got the headlights on full beam. I'm running a 12 volt compressor off the battery. Got the radio on. I've also got the heater on or the fan on inside the car just to drain the battery. I'll take it down until it won't start and then we'll try the jump start to see if it works. Right, that has taken an awful long time, but the battery is now flat. In fact, it's showing 7.6 volts, so it's more than flat. I'm going to turn all the lights and everything off and then try and start the car. That's what a Land Rover sounds like when it won't start. So, that is well and truly flat. It says then that you've got to connect the leads to the battery. Make sure they've got a good connection as well. And then I'll see if I can find a way to rig up the uh, multimeter so that we can see what's going on. So I'll try and just slot that in there. It's going to be quite difficult to do that once to go there. Slot that there. Hopefully, you can see that. And then I'll connect. It says you've got to connect the power bank, and it'll only go in one way, which is there. And then we'll try and start it. Fingers crossed. Then it says you've got to disconnect the cables. Now 
that's with the alternator on now. So that was a completely flat battery, a 2.7 litre diesel engine. It started it, no problem. Now it's a really warm day today, you can probably tell by the fact that I'm sweating. So I don't know what it would be like in the cold, but it will start a 2.7 litre engine when the battery's flat. So very impressed with that. So we've gone from four LEDs to three LEDs. So it's used about a quarter of that battery pack to start that engine. As well as jump starting the car, this is also a portable power pack. So it's got two USB ports at the front. So I've just plugged in an iPhone and a GoPro. And if I turn it on, then this will allow you to charge all your USB equipment. Phones, iPads, cameras, smartphones, anything like that. And you'd probably get quite a lot of charges on your phone and your GoPro out of the one power pack. So that's just another brilliant use for this. The Sawaki T10 car jump starter. I've always wondered whether one of these things would actually turn an engine over because to me I just wouldn't think it was possible but I've actually proven it today on a 2.7 litre diesel engine completely flat battery and it started it without any problems whatsoever I'm extremely impressed 12,000 milliamps built-in LED torch two USB charging points when you read the manufacturer's description it's got loads of overload protection and all the sort of protections that you would want on something like this so just for the fact that it's a jump starter alone is brilliant because you can put it in your car and it gives you that extra confidence especially in the winter time and if you've got an older car now I personally have got a canal boat and two sets of batteries on a canal boat there are the leisure batteries that run all the equipment on the boat and then there's the actual engine battery and that battery doesn't have a charger so when I first bought my canal boat that battery was completely flat I had to purchase another battery I do wish that I'd had this with me at the time so something like this when you've got any form of transport is absolutely brilliant but tag on to that the fact that it's a power pack with two USB charging ports and that just throws this thing into another dimension I think it's an absolutely brilliant product for £32.99 it is great value and I would highly recommend this for anybody because it's just peace of mind. So many different uses for it. So if you are thinking about buying one of these I wouldn't hesitate. It's absolutely brilliant. I hope you like the review and thank you for watching.